Hello racers, let's get to know the lovely trans queens of RuPaul's Drag Race from season 1 to 16. Take note that this list includes queens who transitioned and came out as trans while filming, while the season is airing, and also includes queens that came out only after competing their respective season. In season 1, no trans queen was casted in the show, and no one came out as trans even after the season ends, not until in season 2, when Kylie Sonique Love was casted on the show. However, Kylie came out only as trans after competing, such that when she returned to All Stars 6, she already identified herself as a trans queen, and thereafter made history in RuPaul's Drag Race for being the very first trans winner of the US franchise. In Season 3, there are two trans queens who competed on the show. First is Carmen Carrera who came out only after competing as well. She became a model and is now the new co-host of Drag Latina. Carmen was also actually quite controversial back then for calling out the show and voicing her disapproval of the use of the terms like tranny and she male on Drag Race. The second trans queen this season is Stacey Lane Matthews. Just like Kylie and Carmen Carrera, Stacey Lane Matthews came out as trans only after competing. In 2023, Stacey announced an indefinite hiatus from drag to focus on her physical and mental health. In 2024, Stacy revealed in an Instagram post that she is now going to return to drag. In season 4, there are four members of the trans community, Lash on Beyond, Jiggly Caliente, Kenya Michaels and Madame Locker. All four of them came out as trans only after competing the show. By the way, Jiggly Caliente is currently a judge of Drag Race Philippines and I'm so happy for her. LaShawn Beyond and Madame Locker are still doing drag while Kenya Michaels, who is now known as Kenya Oliveira for her Instagram account, has already retired from doing drag since 2016. In Season 5, there are three trans queens who competed on the show. Monica Beverly Hills, Jade Jolie and Honey Mahogany, who also came out only after competing the show. Monica Beverly Hills and Jade Jolie are still very much active in doing drag, while Honey Mahogany has previously quit drag, and became a politician after being elected as chair of the Democratic Party in San Francisco, California in 2021. However, it seems Honey Mahogany is now back again in doing drag based on her Instagram activity. In Season 6, there are also three transgender queens who competed on the show. Adore Delano, Lagunja Estranja, and Gia Gunn. All three of them are very much active in doing drag, and just like the previous queens, they also came out as trans only after competing the show. Look at the glow up of these queens especially Adore Delano. She looks so stunning. Lagunja Estranja looks sickening also. Meanwhile, Gia Gunn competed again on All Stars 4 wherein she proudly identified herself as a member of trans community at the start of the season. In Season 7, unfortunately, no trans queen was casted and no one came out as trans as well even after the season ends, just like in season 1. So these are the only two seasons in US franchise with no trans competitor. In season 8, only one queen came out as trans after competing the show, and that is Dax! Exclamation point. She publicly came out as trans in her Twitter X post last 2019. In season 9, there are three trans queen who joined the show, two of which came out only after competing the show, Asia who came out as trans in 2021, and Pheromone, who came out as a trans woman on Maddie Morphosis's talk show Give It To Me Straight. The third queen is Peppermint, and she is believed to be the first queen to enter as an openly trans woman in the history of US drag race. In season 10 and 11, only one queen came out as trans. And that is Eureka. Before competing in drag race, Eureka had previously lived as trans at age 18, but decides to detransition after five years of living as such because of bullying and harassment. However, as of December 2022, she identified herself again as a transgender woman. It seems she has now fully accepted and embraced her true self. She looks so happy based on her Instagram activity. In season 12, only one queen came out as trans after competing the show, and that is Gigi Good. She publicly announced that she had started hormone replacement therapy in January 2021, and had underwent facial feminization surgery. She now identifies herself as trans non-binary. Just look at how stunning she is now. In season 13, one trans queen has been casted on the show and that is Gottman, 
making history as the first openly transgender man to compete on Drag Race. In season 14, there are five trans queens who has been casted on the show, Carrie Colby, Willow Pill, Jasmine Kennedy, Cornbread and Bosco. However, only Carrie Colby is the only queen that openly identified herself as trans at the very start of the season. Meanwhile, Jasmine Kennedy came out only as trans as the season progressed, in one of the episodes of Untucked. Bosco and Willow Pill on the other hand spoke about not being ready to come out during filming, and were only able to come out while the show is airing, by publicly announcing in their social media accounts. In the case of Cornbread, she planned to come out as trans to a photo of her young self if she stayed on drag race if not for her forced elimination due to injury. In season 15, only one trans queen has been casted on the show and that is the legendary queen Sasha Colby, the winner of season 15 and the drag mother of Carrie Colby. In season 16, a mandatory meeting was the only contestant this season who came out as trans while the show is airing. So these are the trans queens who competed on RuPaul's Drag Race so far. If I missed anyone, feel free to comment down below. And please don't forget to subscribe.